So you want to play every single DS game on your homebrewed 3DS or 2DS? Well, now you can with the Twilight Menu app. So let me show you how. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. The 3DS is already able to play um, Nintendo DS games simply by taking the uh, ROM cartridges and plugging them into the 3DS slot. Uh, but it would be much easier if we could actually install those games onto our console as backup files and then have access to our full library without having to use the original ROMs. And of course this will help preserve them because uh, as, we, as we take these ROMs in and out of our console, they are eventually going to, to wear out. So it would also make, of course, the system a whole much more portable and user friendly. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your DS ROMs and then how to install them directly onto the 3DS SD card. Now, now obviously there are also websites that allow you to download game backup files but please do check out my retro game copyright video just to make sure that that is actually legal for you to do in your region. Now to start with, you'll need to get a few things ready. So obviously you're going to need a modded 3DS. And, and, and if you followed through on my homebrew video, then you'll have all the software that we need already installed. So for this tutorial, we'll need the Universal Updater app. So if, if you haven't got that installed, then just head over to this website and, and download it from there. You can do it through this um, QR code link or, or just simply download the CIA file and install that into your console using the FBI app as normal. Now you're also going to need a computer that will let you copy files to your SD card. And then of course you're finally, you're, you're gonna need some DS games to back up or, or, or some already prepared backup files. Now the files that you use uh, need to be in the .nds format. Um, so once you've got all of that ready, um, let's go and set up our gaming system. So the app that we're going to use to manage and launch our DS games is called Twilight Menu++. So on your 3DS, open up your Universal Updater app. And again, this gives us access to a sort of homebrew app store. Uh, and we need to find the Twilight menu icon. And it should be in view, or, or just simply use the search feature on the left-hand menu to find it. So then use the D-pad buttons to highlight the one we want. So you should see some information about the app popping up in the bottom screen. Now on the left-hand menu on that bottom screen, click the download icon, and you'll see the available downloads for the app. So we want the top option to download and install the stable release version. So you can see on the menu that there is that those are arrows going round and round with one in the middle that says that one app is currently being downloaded and installed. And if you click on that, you can actually see the progress. Now this is gonna take a few minutes to complete and you will have to keep an eye on it as at certain points it is going to ask you to confirm certain actions. But once that's ready, Simply go back to your menu screen and we should have a new app to unwrap, which will of course be our Twilight menu. So if we open up the app, we can actually go through the initial setup options. So by default, Twilight menu will use the system defaults for your language and so on. Um, so unless you need to change that, we, we can just click A here to continue. Next then, we need to select the default region for our console. So again, I'm in the UK, so I'm going to use Europe. So that's our setup complete. So now you'll see the main app startup screens before it goes through its boot sequence. And, and, and this is a one-time boot sequence that it goes through where it's gonna generate some of the files that it needs to actually run. Uh, this, this won't happen the second time you do this. But once that's complete, it will then drop you into the main app interface. So basically what it's doing is it's prompting you to tell it where you have stored your DS-ROM files. So our next task then, of course, is to actually get some of those game files onto our system. 
So the first way of getting hold of these backup files, is, of course, is to dump the data from an original DS-ROM cartridge. So the game, we, the game files that we need are the .nds files, and we're going to put these onto our SD card so that we can then use them in the 3DS. And this is actually quite a simple process. So with your 3DS turned off, simply pop your DS-ROM into the um, slot. Now hold down the start button and keep that held down as you press the power button. And this will boot the um, console up into God Mode 9. Now God Mode 9 is a great app that lets you do a whole range of operations on your system. And one of those is extracting game files from the ROM cartridges. So in the top screen, you'll see a list of storage locations. So use the D-pad to scroll down to the game card option and select that with the A button. Now you'll see a list of the files in the DS-ROM and we need to extract the .nds file. So highlight that and press A again to select it. Now you'll see a menu appear in the bottom screen with options on what to do with this file. And there are a range of operations you can perform, but for now we simply need to copy it to our SD card. So select the copy to gm9 slash out option and select that. And this will start a file copy process. So just let that run through. So once you get the cop copy completed, um, simply press A to confirm that. And then we can power down the console from the God, 9, God Mode 9 mode by simply holding down the R button, uh, the R bumper, and pressing start. So once it's um, turned off, take out the SD card and we'll pop that into our computer. So on the computer, if we open up the SD card and go into the GM9 folder and then the out folder, you'll see our extracted DS game sitting there. So we simply need to copy that into our DS game library so that we're ready then for the next step. Now, sometimes the file name looks a bit odd. So of course you can just simply rename it to something more sensible and then save the file as that. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can of course find other people's backup files online. Again, these will be in exactly the same .nds um, format that we've just created. Now, as usual, you're gonna have to find these for yourself, but it's not that hard, just do a Google search. And of course, you need to decide for yourself if you want to use them. Um, but of course, this, this option is there if you want to take that route. So, while we've got our SD card in the computer, we should actually copy all of the games that we want to play onto this SD card. Now, installing Twilight Menu will have created a ROMs folder on your SD card. Uh, and then inside that, there are subfolders then for a whole range of systems. So we'll use this folder structure to store our DS games. So we want to make sure that we are in the NDS folder. And then we're just going to go and copy all of our .nds files and put them into that folder. And, and that's our games installed. So if we pop our SD card back into our machine and power it up, we want to open up our Twilight menu. And as usual, we need to then go through our startup screens and our second startup screen for the Rocket Robs. And then we should drop into our folder menu. So we simply need to find our ROM files. So scroll across till you get to the ROMs folder, select that. And then we have to find our NDS folder where we put all of our DS game ROMs into. And we should now have a list of our games. And you see we get a nice little icon and then the game title. So let's find a game to run that. So we'll start up the Super Mario 64. Now, when you first start a game after installing the ROM, the system is going to need to create a number of files and storage areas for that. So there is a bit of a delay the first boot of any game. And you can see here it's going through creating a number of um, memory allocations and files and so on. So we just need to let that run through. So after a short wait, you will get to this bootstrap screen. And once that then completes its setup, you'll drop into the actual game itself. And here we are dropping into Super Mario 64. And you can see everything is running as if it was just a normal DS game. So that's pretty much all there is to actually playing DS games on your 3DS. But having to go through this whole sort of 
um, Twilight menu um, system and, and selecting folders and finding games and so on, um, it would be much easier if the games that we want to play most often were actually home tiles on our home menu. So let's have a look at how we do that. So to do this, we're going to need another app installing. So if we go back to our Universal Updater and, and open that up, we're going to look for an application called NDS Forwarder. So I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to search for that. So it's NDS Forwarder. And if we search for that, we should then find a little sort of narwhal icon popping up. And that's the one we want. So if we click uh, on the downloads for that, and then we can install that. And again, we can see it's installing there. We just need to wait for that to go through and install. So once that's installed, we can come out of our um, updater app and just close that. So our new app then is actually a homebrew app. So we need to go into our homebrew launcher to actually access that. So inside there, if we scroll down, you should see that we now have our NDS forwarder generator sitting there. So let's run that. And that brings us into these screens. So the top half is a view on our SD card, and you can see the actual folder sitting in there. Now, there is a very top option, which is the install all NDS, which I think is supposed to scan through, find all of your DS games and install them as home tiles. Uh, but that I don't think that actually works very well. And we actually only have 40 slots on our home menu for our DS games. So you really do want to make sure that you only select the games that you really want to have on there. So let's go and find a game and install it as a home tile. So we're just simply browsing through our um, SD card. So again, it's in our ROMs folder and our NDS folder. And then you can see all of our games sitting in there. So we simply need to select any of the games that we want to put onto our home menu, then just select that. You can see we have two options down the bottom here, and, th and this is all D-pad navigation, so I can either say yes or no. So if I say yes, and then select that with the A button, that should then install this on my home screen. If I just say OK to that, we can then come out of our NDS forwarder and just close that app down. And we should find now that we have some new software. So of course, if we go across and open up our package, we now have Super Mario 64 DS sitting as a launchable title on our home menu. So if I just click on that, it should now launch that. Now, of course, it's going to launch it through the Twilight menu. So we do have to go through the Twilight menu startup and um, activation. But of course, we don't have to navigate through all of that menu structure to try and find it. And then we have our game up and running um, and we're ready to play Super Mario 64. So that's DS and DSi games up and running on your 3DS and 2DS consoles. Now, if you're following my 3DS tutorials, our next step is to get some other consoles onto the system to turn it into a full retro gaming center. So please do click the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next gaming, modding, making and coding videos. So have fun playing all your DS games and bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video Subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.